So I found this really neat tool on GitHub that will dynamically update Cisco umbrella of your public IP address change in a Meraki network. So as we all know, umbrella, Cisco umbrella is kind of like a cloud firewall that can offer protection for your clients that are both on net and off net. For your clients that are on net, umbrella pushes policy based upon what is my public IP address it needs to know where to apply policy. Well, the challenge at remote branch sites is potentially I have a DHCP address, my public IP changes, and then Umbrella doesn't know where I'm at. So we need to be able to know when the IP address changes and update the Umbrella dashboard. Well, Meraki doesn't have any native tool built into the platform to update Umbrella of IP changes. So there's a really neat tool I wanted to show you today where we can open the API of Meraki and update Umbrella of our public IP change. So in this instance here, here's my lab network. I have an MX DHCP based public IP address and my DNS is pointed to Cisco Umbrella. As we can see here, Cisco Umbrella can push policy based upon public static, public DHCP, or maybe I'm off net with the roaming client. So with this configuration, this plugin I'm gonna show you today, I've got my open Meraki API now that's calling out to a middle service called DNS-O-Matic. And DNS-O-Matic is free, open DNS, Cisco Umbrella-based service. And DNS-O-Matic will then call out to Umbrella and say, hey, we've detected a IP change. So this is a simple Python script that you can put on a VM, maybe put it on a workstation in your environment, and it can run, say, once a day, once a week to update Cisco Umbrella of any IP changes in the Meraki stack. All right, let's put this in action here. So how to make this happen, we're gonna to go to this GitHub page and I'll put the link in YouTube channel. You need to first install Python requirements on your workstation. You need to have uh, requirements at 2100. And then you're going to reference this string to call up the script itself. So I'm gonna bring this over to text and we can see here that we need to have our Meraki API key and then we need to have a DNS OMATIC username and password, and then we're going to call it a device type. So, first off, I'm going to jump to Umbrella to show you. Here's my network. So, here's Test Tech Network. Here's my public IP, and it's looking for a dynamic IP address. So, it's going to say, Hey, I know this is going to change. I need to know when it changes. Next, what we're going to do is go to our Meraki dashboard, open the API. So, we're going to go to Organization, we're going to go to Settings. And then we're going to enable API access. And then we go to your profile to generate an API key. Now make sure if your profile has access to multiple organizations, that the or sub organizations all have API access. What we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this out. So put our API key in here. And then next we're gonna go create a DNS OMATIC account. And I'm gonna use my same username and password for Cisco Umbrella as I'm gonna use in my open DNS, DNS OMATIC tool here. So what we're gonna do is now we need to add a service and we're gonna call out and say, hey, we wanna update open DNS or Cisco Umbrella of our change. And it's pulling my test tech network, which I showed you. And now it's waiting for an update. So we update our account info. It's waiting for this first update, which we're gonna provide. And then we're gonna go in here, copy in our username and password from DNS OMATIC and in my case it's the same with DNS OMATIC as Cisco Umbrella and then finally we need to call out a device type and we're going to update my MX public IP address. So as you can see I'm here at my command prompt and we're going to call out I'm in this this is my folder structure here's my Python script what we're going to do is we're going to execute this script go ahead and copy One other thing to call out while we're waiting for this to execute, you need to make sure that at the end of this password, you don't have any special characters. Noticed in testing that we found some issues there. So it needs to either be a numeric or a alphanumeric character at the end of your password. So we can see none IP address updated. So my IP hasn't changed here recently. But now if we log over to go over to DNS-O-Matic, 
we can see that our IP address has been updated. Now, in the case that my public changes, we run this script, it's gonna call out to Meraki, we see the IP changes, DNS Omatic will then update Cisco Umbrella and say, hey, Tim's identity changed and this is no longer his password, this is where you're gonna find his MX. So in summary, we can use this tool, run it maybe on a local server, maybe run it in the cloud once a day, maybe once a week to update Umbrella of public IP address changes in our Meraki network. To do that, we set up Meraki API access, set up a username, password, and DNS Omatic. DNS Omatic will pull services that are DHCP based from Umbrella. And then we could run this again, this script in the cloud, or we could run it on our local workstations, maybe like once a week or so.